Hi, it's Chris with Implied Music, and I'm back with episode seven of The Sound Inside. We're going to take a look at a couple of tracks that uh, I recorded this morning and talk about where we are in the process, because it's coming down to Tech Week. Things are beginning to get quite exciting. <music> I realized that I needed something that would percolate a little bit. And so I'm using this contact instrument from Galaxy Instruments called Piano Colors. And of course, Piano Colors is not just a piano. If I just play a single tone and hold it down, here's a, a C below middle C. You can hear it's a percolating sequence that uses the particles engine and layers of noises and um, sort of a buttery soft piano. So if I, if I listen to just the buttery soft piano, you can hear a little percolation there. And if I add the particles layer, the delay on top of the uh, arpeggiator or sequence gets real interesting. And then the noises gives me a little bit of that high frequency clickety click click. It's a terrific instrument with many, many patches of, of quite, a, quite a variety of patches, not just uh, sequence patches, but I knew I needed something that would percolate and give me some drive. So I've used the same harmonic sequence that we've been talking about, the fifth mode of the F ascending melodic minor. So C is my root note, and um, <laughs> I just play the C. And the, um, the patterns all are built around this unique sound. Well, I begin here with a D just to mess with the listener's head to give it a little more energy. We've been hearing so many Cs in this show. And then stack this complicated chord sequence on top of it. This type of sequence in theater is about underscoring action or perhaps a video montage. Sometimes video is really important in theater uh, these days, and so we need something underneath it. I think it would also work. Uh, I think it would be effective as underscore for certain types of monologues. Well, listen, I did two tracks with this sound, a slightly different kind of vibes harmonically. And um, I guess the next thing would be to show you how I prepare audio files to send them to my sound designer. Here are those two files. I bounced them out of Logic into a stereo wave file. Uh, waves are going to be easiest for my sound designer to handle as they program into QLab. And maybe we'll take a look at QLab later, which is a, a theatrical um, sound cue, music cue running program. It's uh, the simple two track version of it is free and it should be in everyone's kit. In any case, here I am. Uh, simple 44 1 24 bit files. Um, however, for my other designers and for listening for the director and stuff, they're going to need MP3s. Now, I'm not going to worry too much about mastering these, but I do need to set them up to export. So I'm going to cut the fat out of these files and create markers at the beginning of the file so uh, things are useful. And then DSP Quattro, which is the two-track editor that I'm using here, has a very useful function. I can just um, create new files from the markers, and they appear over here. Drag them in. If I need to do any editing on them, I can, and I'm not really going to have to for the time being. I'm just going to go ahead and export them first as waves for my own use later on, and then as MP3s. And the MP3s will be used just for auditioning because everybody's using um, a Google, big Google Drive, a G Drive for the whole show. We've got um, design pictures of costumes of the set. We've got dramaturgic information. And, and so all of the individual designers put our material up there and we can reference each other's work, take inspiration from what things look and sound like. It's really incredibly useful. So 
I'm just going to do, I'll show you how it's sort of set up. I hope I'm not breaking any rules here. Here's our G drive, and you can see we've got a um, bunch of folders all covering various aspects of the production. Here's my folder, music. And you can see over the course of the show, I've created, well, it's more than 25 files now. It's super easy to upload to uh, a Google Drives like this, you know, piece of cake. So I'm just going to grab those uh, two new files that I created, the MP3 ones, and just drag them in here. Well, the design run was yesterday, and uh, my next step today is to open up this video and watch them rehearse and see how it all goes. I can't show you any of it because there are rules about actors' unions. It's really just for internal use. This coming weekend, everyone's going to be sitting down in the theater and putting it all together. It's a very exciting time for a production. In a way, it's my favorite time. It's the time that the designers and the team gets to see it in in pretty good shape. The actors have been working hard for a few weeks. The director's got a clear vision. We're all trying to make it get on its feet. There's usually a, a certain amount of pain involved, but it's also really thrilling. Uh, design, everything comes together. Uh, next week, after the tech weekend, we'll have some previews. Audience members pay a little bit less to see a preview, and then it'll open up the following week. Uh, very exciting time for us. Well, I hope this has been useful, getting a little insight into this whole process. There's a lot of license plate making involved in this work, right? Yeah, <laughs> there is. That license plate making, it's like where you have a bunch of things, they're all the same, but they're also all different, and you just got to stamp them out. Well, like and subscribe, ding the bell, you'll be notified when I do my videos, and I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.